Hello everyone, my name is Chris Morgan and I'm Technical Director for the OpenShift Partner Ecosystem. Today I'm very excited to share with everyone a technical preview of some of the work that we've been doing with Microsoft as part of our announced partnership around getting native .NET containerized applications running in OpenShift. To get started, I've already created a project space to house our .NET application. And now we're just going to simply deploy a sample app based on a .NET container from a GitHub repository that I've already set up. Next, what we're going to see are all of the artifacts needed to actually you know, build and deploy this application into the OpenShift environment. Uh, you can see in the background in the web console, um, we've created the placeholder for the service and actually instantiated a build. The next thing we want to do is actually take a look at the, the status of that build. We can do that with the web console or via the command line. So let's uh, get the name of my build, in this case get builds, .NET for OpenShift-1, and let's take a look inside the log and see what's going on. Now the first thing we're going to notice is that it's cloning the repository. Uh, after it clones the repository, it's actually going to take this code and then inject it into the .NET container and with the Docker build, and then subsequently push that, as you can see it happened very quickly, to the private registry we have deployed within OpenShift. We can then see the deployment configuration take over and actually deploy our service with a single pod into the environment. However, I still need a way to access this service externally, so let's go ahead and add a route. We'll give it a host name, and when I finish adding this particular host name, we should quickly see the service name uh, change to be this new external route on the console behind us. And there we go. We'll click on this URL and we should see an ASP.NET application. There you go. Hello Red Hat. We can now treat our .NET application just as we would any other runtime, including very quickly being able to scale it out. And with that, I hope you've enjoyed this short video demonstrating how we're working with Microsoft to deliver native and supported .NET framework capabilities within OpenShift.